So you're thinking about moving to Aura Valley and you're looking to spend 400 to 500,000. Well, hang around with us today because we're going to show you just that. We're going to take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different homes in that 400 to $500,000 price point so you can see what you can get for your money. Let's go. If you're new to this channel and you want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith and this is my husband, Dustin Smith. And we've helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, we got you covered. Give us a call, shoot us a text or an email and let us help you make that smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. All right, so we are over here in our first subdivision of the day, and that is gonna be Copper Creek 2. Copper Creek is a very popular subdivision in Aura Valley. We've had quite a few clients throughout here, and I really just love the neighborhood. And believe it or not, this house behind us is actually built in 1988. Um, but this one is 445,000. You're gonna get four bedrooms, three bathroom, two story. Uh, one of the bedrooms and bathrooms is downstairs, which is really great. If you have a family member that doesn't do stairs, you know, mother-in-law, something of that nature, this could be a great option. So you'll find a lot of stuff like that throughout this neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. What's uh, really neat about this one specifically, they did a gazebo, uh, artificial turf, a putting green in the yeah. backyard, really built it for entertaining. Yeah. And, you know, we're in the cul-de-sac right here. Uh, so behind the cul-de-sac is actually like a, you know, a pretty um, like overgrown type wash, a pretty big wash. Yeah. You're going to have more wildlife that traverses through those washes. So you might have a chance to see in some Havaluna, yeah, Havaluna. <laughs> or coyotes. And then across the wash, you have a Copper Creek Elementary School. So yeah, we got little like ones. walking yeah. distance if you got little ones. Yeah. Perfect. Well, let's go head over to our next subdivision. Let's roll out. All right, so we're over here in our second subdivision, uh, the large community of Kenyatta Hills. This section that we're in right now is actually called Eagles Bluff. Uh, and there's currently a house behind us here for sale uh, for $450,000. You're gonna get uh, just about 1,900 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and phenomenal mountain views right there. As you can see, Push Ridge behind us. And then it also offers golf course views, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think you're um, you're gonna find in many homes with better views in that four hundred fifty thousand dollar price range. So yeah. hill behind the house kind of tapers off, uh, just overlooking everything out to the east. So you'll actually be able to enjoy basically some city lights as you look out that way at night. Too. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and beautiful day like today too. We have some mountains cresting Push Ridge out there. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, you're gonna see it being you know beautiful sunrises coming from that direction. Yep. We're also very close to the Ore Valley Community Center. Yeah. So that's less than a five minute drive right there. Such and a great aspect to this house, this community right here. 100%. And uh, Community Center is gonna give you access to both the El Conquistador Golf Course 
and the Kenyatta course, which are both nine hole championship grade golf courses. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other restaurants in the area too. Uh, Z Pizza, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're, we've been meaning to try it. We've heard good things. Actually, we might head over there right now. I'm kind of hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> yeah, and, and then the uh, community center itself has the Overlook which is mm -hmm. like a bar and grill. It's in the second story of the community center, um, mm -hmm. overlooking the golf course. Just, you know, overall, it, it looks like it's been recently redone in there. It's a very beautiful community center. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead to our next community. So we're over here in our last subdivision, which is Naranja Ranch. And personally, I really love this neighborhood. It's just very quiet. When you come in here, you may see people walking around, you know, just nice, quiet neighborhood with a wonderful, wonderful backdrop. Um, you know, if you're wanting to take your morning walk, your afternoon walk, walk your dog, uh, whatever. <laughs> and then you won't see a lot of cars or anything parked on the streets in here. It's just very peaceful neighborhood overall and as you'll see like the houses are spread out a little bit further right now we're in a great cul-de-sac and there is a house uh, behind us over here listed for 485 uh, three bedrooms two bathrooms with a den and an arizona room it also has solar which if you ever have any questions about solar this is the guy to ask <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bit. He knows a little bit. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just really great mountain views back here. So, I mean, really this neighborhood is in the heart of Aura Valley. So you're close to everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, if, if you want to drive, everything's within about five minutes. You've got shopping, you've got restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, the golf courses that we've talked about. If you feel like cycling, we're really close to a bike path that's going to connect you to the, mm -hmm. the loop with over 100 miles worth yeah. of other bike paths. Uh, quite popular there. And we love to talk about recreation, right? A lot of people that are looking to move to Tucson um, are, are moving here for the weather and want to know what they can do outside. Yeah, so. they want to take advantage of the over 300 days of sunshine that we have here, which today, I mean, we do have a little bit of sunshine, but most of the video you'll notice is it's been a little bit cloudy, a little bit colder, and we we're just out here, you know, not not two weeks ago and it was so sunny and 70 degrees and now we're what in the 50s and it's a little chilly today yeah. we've had some rain <laughs> if that sun do, does poke through the clouds i'll probably feel like taking my jacket off but yeah. right now pretty comfortable <laughs> yep um we're actually a little bit further north um than we mm -hmm. were for some of the other homes that we've talked about in this video of course you have beautiful catalina mountain views right here yeah but some parts of the subdivision are actually going to you know have their backyards face off to the north which will give you beautiful views of the tortolina mountain mm -hmm. as well i mean and nothing as great as the Catalinas, but you could be as lucky as to have uh, views of both of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And as always, thank you for watching. If you or anyone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, Arizona, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text or an email. Uh, you can book a call with us on Zoom, uh, whatever is easiest for you. Let us help you make that smooth move to Tucson. And if you could give us a like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications, we will keep you updated on the current market here in Tucson, Arizona. Check out our description to find that Zoom link and our contact information. We'll see you guys on the next video.